Here's how you can use VirtualReady on your PC, whether you want to boost your internet speed or you want to browse the internet securely, VirtualReady is the best option for that. In order to use VirtualReady on your PC, you'll first need the application. The application is called VirtualReady and I'll leave a link in the video description where you can download the application. After selecting the GitHub link, which will be in the video description, all you have to do is to scroll down and select on release. After that, you're going to scroll down and download the V2Ray with Core. So you're going to download this zip. If you select on it, it will be downloaded. I've already downloaded it. So I'm going to show you the next step. After downloading the application, you have to extract the application. Once extracted, you're going to open the folder. Now we are going to open the Vitore N application. Once the application has been opened, you see that it is written in Chinese. It is not in English. To change the language, you have to select over here and then select this one here. Then now you're going to change it to EN, which is English. And then you're going to close the application and also close the application from the background. Now we are going to reopen the application. As you can see, it is now in English. Now to use the application, we'll need a V2Ray client or a V2Ray server. You can find it on Google. There are many sites which offers free V2Ray clients, or you can use your own VPS to install a, a V2Ray client and use it here. I will create a video in the future showing you how you can do that. For now, we're going to use the free V2Ray server, which is provided by this website called SSH Ocean. So I will also leave a link in the video description for all the sites which we are going to use on this video. Now, once on the application, you're going to select on services, then you're going to choose Vitoray Vimes. Since the other Vitoray clients I've tried didn't work, so I recommend for you to use Vitoray VMS, but if Vitoray VMS doesn't work for you, you can try the other Vitoray clients or Vitoray servers. So let's go ahead and select the Vitoray VMS server. After selecting the server, you're going to scroll down and select a country over here. It doesn't have to be your exact location. You can select any country of your choice. So let me select the first one, which is Australia. And we're going to scroll down now. After scrolling down, you will see something like this. As you can see here, we have three different servers. The first server is full, so we're going to skip that one. The second one has eight remaining accounts, and the third one has 15 remaining accounts. We're going to select the second one since it has remaining accounts. You must also look at the status, whether it is online or offline. As you can see, this one is online, so we're going to select so we're going to select the second one. Now we are going to scroll down again. And here we're going to put on our username and our SNI. This is optional, by the way. If you don't want to use an SNI, you don't have to use one. But for the sake of this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Vitoray with an SNI. So let me go ahead and head over to our website. I'll leave a link in the description for this website as well, where you're going to get your SNI. Once on this website, you're going to select your country over here. You must make sure that you choose your exact country and then click on generate. Now copy one of the provided SNIs and then go back to the SSH Ocean website. Once on the SSH Ocean website, you're going to paste your copied SNI. 
After pasting your, your copied SNI, click on re Reserve SNI, then verify that you're not a bot. After that, click on Create Now. Scroll down again. Now your V-Ray saver has been successfully created. Now you're going to scroll down and click on Copy Config WS. So select over here to copy the config and then go back to the V2Ray N application. Once on the V2Ray N application, you're going to click on save us and then you're going to and then you're going to click on import URL from clipboard. After selecting that one, your V2Ray saver will be imported. Now that your V2Ray saver has been imported, you're going to go down over here and you'll see that it will download the geo file this will take a few seconds or a minute to complete so you just have to wait for it to show you something like this after it has successfully downloaded the geo file all you have to do is click on reload over here Now you have to wait a little bit until you see it says that and the V2Ray call started or for it to show you the ping of the current service. Now after you see something like that, you have to go to system proxy and select set system proxy. Now that you have selected the system proxy, your V2Ray client is now working on your system. To see whether it was successful or not just go back to your browser and check your location or your ip address i'm going to check my location so i'm going to say what's my location then i would click on the first link was my location.org As you can see, it says I'm currently in Australia, which is not true since I'm not located in Australia. And you must make sure that the location which it tells you that you are in is the same location as the one you've created the V2Ray saver from. <clears throat> if you can remember, we've created our V2Ray saver from Australia, which is why it says that we are currently in Australia. That's how you can use V2Ray on your PC. If you find this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to leave them below. And of course, don't, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you won't miss our upcoming videos. Until then, take care and peace.